Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 2 of the FM21 Leeds United Beta Save. So uh, we are playing with Meslier in goals, Shackleton, Koch, Cooper, Davis on the back line, Strojic, Orshaw, Rodrigo in the mid, Rafinha and Harrison on the wings, and we have a new player, uh, Cristo on up at striker we'll take a look at him a little bit later we just signed him on a season-long loan and we have sold pablo hernandez still trying to get used to all of the uh well let's see we can look at cristo right now so cristo can play the wingers but he is a striker as well so taking a look he's got pretty decent physicals uh dribbling finishing first touch passing technique and uh, pace, natural fitness, uh, stamina's above average, so hopefully he can do a job there. And if we take a look at his history, uh, he was at Huesca, five goals in 26 matches, 20 goals for Real Madrid's B team uh, a couple of years ago. So uh, we brought him in for some depth. Uh, we do have uh, some issues on the uh, selection. Ailing's still out. And Calvin Phillips got sent off uh, with a straight red card and then was given a further two-game ban. So I believe he's going to miss five matches. So that's great. All right, so let's get underway. We're playing Sheffield United. Uh, let's give a shout. Uh, you know what I don't see here? I don't see Get Creative. Great praise, demand more. Well, fire it up, fire them up, fire it up, fire it up. Ooh, all the way across, and there's a header that goes over. We're wearing the, we're wearing the away kits here. A tight groin. All right, so Forshaw getting his first start. And so we'll go ahead and sub him off. Alfie McCalmon will come on in that midfield role. Oh, does Liz Mousset play for them? I like him. He was one of the great players in my football manager 17 save, which was the last time I did a Leeds United save. Uh, well, only one shot. Possession's about even. Passing is there. All right. Well, dressing room. I'm going to throw the water bottle. Ooh, Sam Greenwood's apprehensive. Everybody else is pretty fired up. Liam Cooper's playing well. 7.4 for the captain. Nobody else is looking great. Yeah, it was Liz Mousset. All right, let's uh, focus. Wrong thing. Oh, that screwed the morale. Yeah, this is going to take a little getting used to. I'm not sure I like that because it was much easier to see. All right. Uh, the other thing I'm noticing, it's impossible to tell match fitness, uh, and I can't find the option in here. I mean, there is fatigue. But that's, I'm, I'm looking for the ability to just see at a glance. And I don't see, you know, where, where like in, in FM20, you could see it would say that they were at 60% or 40% or whatever. Um, so I know that's what this is telling me, but... Like I was looking at Stuart Dallas prior to this match, and his he was fully green, but when I clicked on him, said he was tired. So that's not good. Uh, let's see. Cristo is not playing well. You know what? I'm going to bring Greenwood on. Greenwood's our young U23 guy. For sure, we've already had to make an injury timeout. And we'll tell him, hey, it's his debut. Hopefully something will come of it. We're going to go up to attacking. 
Cooper is actually starting to run down. So do I want to take him off? There's only 10 minutes left. I think he could see it through. I don't like to sub off central defenders. But is there anybody just having a poor game? Leif Davis is having a poor game. Let's bring on Yorente over there. Well, be nice to get him on if it'll match up. All right. Uh, we're going to demand more. Yeah, see, it's just too hard to tell here. I was hoping there would be a way match stats. Okay, we that's over here, so we don't particularly need that. Don't need that. Yeah, I just I I don't know. I just can't get the can't get the mix here right. It just doesn't look right. Oh well. Is what it is. And that gets us to full time. Scoreless affair. We only had three shots on target. Uh we are going to thrash our arms. Point finger. All right, well, that fires them up, I guess. Keeps the morale going in the right direction. Greenwood made his professional debut. Nothing really happened. So we're sitting in 11th after five games. Let's go ahead and take a look at the schedule so you guys could see what's been going on. So after Villa, we had a 3-0 win over Grimsby. And you can see the goal scores over here if you want to see that. Everton, we lost 2-1. Liam Cooper with a goal. West Brom, we had a 1-1 draw in the cup. And then Southampton, 2-2 draw. That went to penal uh No, that won the penalties. 2-2 draw. And then we lost to Chelsea on penalties. Strangely enough, it was Calvin Phillips that scored the winning goal as our fifth uh, penalty taker against West Brom. And then he missed the potential equalizing penalty against Chelsea. West Brom beat us 3-1. to one. That was when Phillips was sent off and then Tyler Roberts got injured. And so we'll be right back for Tottenham. And I did this specifically for channel subscriber Tom T. I know you're out there, Tom. Appreciate you, buddy. All right. Forshaw and Dallas look like they're ready to come back. No match, uh, no uh, fitness test required. Uh, tactical meeting. Let's jump into that. So we're currently 13th position. Uh, looks like they'll be going with Kane, Son, and Lucas Mora up top, Winks, and Holzberg in the mid. Uh, Los, Lo Kelso, Los, I'm thinking it's Lo Kelso. Uh, Davies, Dyer, I uh, can't even read that. Alder, Wierald, and Doherty, and Yoris in goal. All right, let's see. I recommend we should play with a balanced mentality. We'll go with that. Uh, support duties, we're going to pass on that. We're going to look at this in a minute and hit early crosses. We'll try it out. Team selection, all right, uh, let's see. Christo on the bench. I'm going to bring, uh, let's bring Bamford on up top, Harrison Rafinha. You know what? I'm going to start Paveda today. Paveda's just got a lot of ability. He's really short. But he's only 5'5". Five, five. Klitsch, Rodrigo, Forshaw, is that who I want there? He can pass the ball. Actually, I like uh, I like Pascal Stroik there. Let's bring him on. Alioski on the left, Ailing on the right. Uh, is Dallas on the bench? Dallas is still a uh, fitness concern. All right. Fair enough. Cooper, Koch in the middle. Decent bench, not the greatest. All right, let's go with it. Five players lack technical, te uh, tactical familiarity. Meslier uh, is pleased. And Elioski, team instructions suit his stamina. Marking Harry Kane tightly. Well, let's give that a shot. We're going to hand off to the assistant and get into it.
All right, highlight. We didn't have many of those last episode. Cooper brings it out. Finds Jan Paveda. Oh, he's just dribbling through people, but he is tackled. That is one of his shortcomings. He does have, uh, he has the ability to really move with the ball, but he's, being that he's so small, he's easy to knock off. Crossed in. Paveda's there. And there's a shot, Rodrigo, his fifth of the season. And we've taken a 1 0 lead in the fifth minute. And I think Paveda. We're going to ignore that. Let me pause it because I'm trying to get used to looking at these numbers and seeing what they mean. All right. So it was ailing with the cross in, but I think Paveda got a foot on that ball. Good deal. Just keeping an eye on Harrison. Melier out to Cooper again. Oh, that was not a very good ball. Bamford, decent first touch. Finds Alioski on the overlap on the outside. Laid into Bamford. Oh, and Bamford's taken down in the box by Lo Kelso, and that's going to set up a penalty. Uh, why are we making the run? I thought we had done away with this. Remember the first match, the first episode, we got the little box on the screen? That box? Hello? There should not be any question that was a penalty. Unless you're telling me that he dived, in which case he's going to be sent off, right? Penalties awarded. It is going to be Klitsch, I think. Yep, it's Click. Uh, and he slots it home. 2-0 advantage for Leeds. That's Click's first goal of the season. And we are up by two in early minutes of the match. That puts us up into seventh, so that's positive. I'm going to give a, uh, a praise shout. Not a whole lot going on here. All right, looks like we've got a corner by Harrison. It's there. Oh, click. Got a shot. Yoris made the save. Come on, boys. Coasting in at halftime with a 2-0 advantage. 9-2 on shots. Taking a look, we are going to be outstretched arms. We'll do that. So I like that it gives you your recommendation from your, your assistant manager. That's pretty cool. All right, focus. Looks like everybody responded well there. Ailing picks up the loose ball, short clearance. Uh, Rodrigo loses it, and it is lumped over the top. Harry Kane's on the break, and he puts it in. Jeez. Route one, boys. Son with the assist, and that's Koch that got, that got beaten. And Melier needed to close that down a little bit. But he just put a little chip in there, and it looked good. All right, we're going to have to give a... Uh... All right, there's Rodrigo. Harrison, he's got some pace. Takes a shot. Yoris makes the save. And let's take a look here. Rating wise, everybody's looking good. Melier's only playing. Wow, he got dinged pretty hard for that goal. Um, I think, I think we're gonna keep going here. Well, you know what? How's Paveda doing? Paveda's playing a seven-one. Can't really pull him off, can I? Tell you what, let's go ahead and make this sub, Harrison, or. Costa on that side. Costa is left-footed, so that fits him over there. 
And you know what? Let's put Forshaw in there for Stroik. He's on a yellow just to get one of those yellows off. All right. Uh, let's fire up. No, nope, they didn't like that. Yeah, I, you know, I see what they were maybe going for down here, but I'm, I'm just having a hard time seeing, seeing it there, you know. And let's bring Shackleton on up top here in the mid for Rodrigo. And I do want, let's slow the pace down as a keeper. We're already in regroup. I have changed that. What the hell is that? That doesn't really help us, does it? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's help, that not very helpful. Can we hold on? Blow the whistle. There we are. A two to one victory over Spurs. 14 to six on shots. 10 to two on target. 2.24 on XG. And 89% passes, 57%. Possession, Rodrigo, player of the game. I am liking that. And we had a few players play well. I, I, you know, I do like this, but... See, I like that better. Just because that's what I'm used to seeing. And Melier... Melier got hit with a 6.3... I don't think in all the versions of Football Manager, even if you get torched, I don't think I've ever seen a score for a keeper that low. All right. Well, I told you guys in the first episode, sometimes you get the dogs, and that's what's going on. So we jump up to seventh, eight points from six matches. Great result. I am very happy with that. So guys, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, especially if you're new. And if you are new, introduce yourself to me down in the comments. I like to get to know you guys and have some interaction with you in the comments. Uh, Paveda uh, will trigger a clause. I'm assuming he will make that. But, uh, oh, and so let's take a quick look. Transfer history. We did sell... Uh, Pablo Hernandez for $2.4 million to Getafe. Uh, J. Roy Grot is out on loan. We didn't want to keep him. But uh, they made an offer, and he actually said, you know, when you get the, the, the offer in your inbox and you look at it, they usually have the thing from his agent, and it said he would be very upset if he did not have a chance to talk to Gattafi. So maybe he at 35, he wanted to go back to Spain. Uh, he's played well in his first match there. And he finishes up this season uh, 6.73 rating in four appearances for us. I had no issues with him. He would have played a lot for us this year, whether as a starter or coming off the bench. But you know, is what it is. And uh, Christo, again, there's his ratings. Uh, three and a half star potential, two and a half star current. And not sure how much he's going to play, but I needed some additional depth up there, uh, especially with Tyler Roberts being hurt. So that was what that was about. Guys, we will see you next episode. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, appreciate you dropping by. Have a good one. Bye.